What's up guys, Red Dawn Fury here, and since we're very close to the first convention of the year, for me at least, I thought might as well be a good time to talk about being a weeb in public. I know it's really exciting, we all want to be at this convention, but some people I think just take it a little bit too far. I want to start this video out by prefacing the fact that you should never be afraid to tell anybody anything that you enjoy. If you enjoy it and they are your friend, then no matter what, that person should be willing to accept any of the things that you like, well as long as they're legal. If you like murder, that's still not cool. Here's the list of five things that can prevent you from being a weeb in public. So the first one is... Never go full weeb. Look, I get it. Maybe you watch a lot of anime. You're really excited to be at this convention. However, just because you're at an anime convention does not give you the ability to speak fluent Japanese. Nor does ever just seeing anime in general give you that. I don't care how much anime you've seen, unless you are taking a class to speak Japanese, you don't know Japanese. And for those of you that are learning Japanese, if the only reason that you're learning Japanese is to flaunt it in front of people at conventions, or so you can watch anime without the subtitles, then you're pretty much learning a new language for the wrong reason. I don't care how much Japanese you know. I'm pretty sure the random person in the street who's just a citizen of the city that the convention is taking place in, because you're outside, probably doesn't care either. They also probably don't care about the convention at all. They just live there. Don't bother them! You don't own the streets outside the convention center. In the convention center, you still also have people who are maybe not the biggest anime fans. At least maybe not as big as you. That's fine. Don't think that somebody should be as big of a fan as you or like the anime that you like. If they are not as big of an anime fan and they're just not into what you like, don't get in their face about it. Mind your business. So this leads right into my second point, which is remember you are in public. I doubt a bunch of people going to an anime convention is going to go to... Rigatoni's fancy Italian cuisine. That being said, just remember you're in public, so even if you are in like a fast food place, it does not give you the right to just start blabbing like crazy about what the anime convention is doing. There are people there that are not part of the convention and just want a Big Mac. Number three, remember the most important part about cosplay is the costume part, not the play part. Look, I understand that cosplay in the word there is play because it's supposed to stem from play acting. However, that does not mean that the entire convention should be consisted of you RPing as your character. Not everybody may agree with your interpretation of a character. Not everyone wants to see you act like you're Hatsune Miku. No matter the amount that you love Love Live, that does not make you Yoshino Nanjo from Fripside. I mean, look, if somebody comes up to you and asks you to give a line from a show in your, from your cosplay or do like some kind of pose or whatever, that's fine. Things like, you know, cost music videos, photo shoots, even just someone asking you to do it as a favor. That's fine, but do not run around the whole convention talking like the character. That's, I think, a little bit extreme. Which definitely leads me into my fourth point. Just because you know the entire dance routine to Snow Halation does not mean you should start doing it inside of the convention center. Look, that's just dangerous. First of all, like, if you're dancing whatever dance, if it's fucking from Pon 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 or some Vocaloid shit from Project Diva, that does not mean that you should flaunt it in front of everybody just that in the middle of the in the middle of a hallway. It's completely dangerous. You could run into somebody, especially if you're on a second story. If you hit someone, they could get hit into a railing, over the railing maybe. That's just completely dangerous. The other thing about it is, if you're going to learn and take so much hard work into learning a dance routine, then put it into the cosplay show. They have specific sections for that, even if you don't want to be judged on it, you just want to show it to people. Go on stage and do it. There it's safe, and there it means something. Number five, most important point, never go full weeb. I can't stress this enough. The whole thing about this is just not being rude to other people. Remember, conventions are not just a bunch of anime fans wanting to be together with other anime fans that are as intense as them. Some people are just newcomers, some people are just more relaxed anime fans and don't really need everybody freaking out about what their favorite animes are and yelling at each other and all randomly acting as characters that they are not. It's about having fun. Do not, but don't put your fun in front of somebody else's. Keep your fun within your circle and if somebody wishes to be a part of your fun, then invite them in. It's about being open and inviting, not shoving yourself into the door. Alright, so I'm really excited for the first convention at Anime Milwaukee. Uh, I got other videos coming out soon though that are convention related. But, that's going to be it for this video. So, I'll see you guys later. And I really hope to see you at the next convention. Bye-bye!